Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive raids even. Please. I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right. I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We'll get to it if we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Yeah, that boy Zaid is one of my own. Um, it's also another inspiration for my own, um, my character designs. Oh, um, my personal, my main character, he's doing. I mean, he like his shoulder pad. I like the shoulder pad. I like the shoulder pad. And I like the light on that motherfucker and the color scheme of his shit. Like him and Jacob. It really has me, um, what is it, some influence on my own, on my creative, um, I, I, I don't know, on my, in my creative process. Come on, let me in. Are you expecting me? See, this video gonna be longer than the other ones. Probably gonna be an hour. I mean, I keep watching the segments and stuff like that. I really wanna see it. I don't know how to, um, Add like a little time stamp that other people have in their videos yet. When I find out, I'm, I'm gonna put them in. Yeah. Sometimes it starts a quest. I don't know if it's up here or downstairs. I don't know if it's a Turian or a Batarian that does it to you, but one of them spikes you drink and poison you. So what now? Let's make it downstairs. Man. Oh. 
I almost missed that too. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought you had to buy it from the store. Front, like this. Me and some friends got stupid one night. Long story short, tempers flared, followed by pistols. We all got out, except my buddy Narka. God damn, why oh, it's he low? That's oh close God. enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to. Yeah, I have Damn. Play. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. Pretty sure there's a butt shot right there, then they cut this shit out. I made it darker. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. See, that's the thing about... Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morden Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble. Just tell me how to find him. The local Merc groups are recruiting anyone with a gun to help them take down Archangel. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate. But I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help them. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. The thing about us, uh, um, sorry, I mean, I'm just gonna explain this again for those who did probably do my affairs. I'm sorry, uh, uh, telepathic. Uh, they telepathic and they can reject images. To, into a person's head that make them think, I mean, uh, what that person think is attractive. You know what I'm saying? So
So the humans, it look like humans. Their bodies are most, de most definitely humanoid. You know what I'm saying? Because you can tell by the statues and stuff like that. But their heads are different to each and every, um, Come on, to let each me and every in. different race. So like to a Turian, like him, you know, the guy that I'm walking toward, their heads will look more like Turians. I mean, they look like him now when they project them to, uh, to humans, but... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, they project them to humans. They still have like the little tentacles in the back of their head, but they have face plates, like metal face plates, like the Turians do. I like to the Salarians that have like heads like a Salarian. This is crazy. So people have been theorizing what you know you sorry will look like. Flight from galactic fury. You sir, you are a plight. You and you, you. And then when you're doing sex on today, you're not talking to this around. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, you no. Know, look like That's a right. Looter. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. <laughs> I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Plague sounds dangerous. Good thing we're immune. Really good thing. I wish Zaid said something. So, my dumb thought ass, what I should have did was um, probably recruit Jack. Because I never recruited Jack and brought him on this mission. But I have recruited um, Grunt. Grunt and Archangel first and brought him into this mission. And Garrus, boy. No, not, I said Grunt. Grunt and Garrus. And I brought him into this mission knowing that they are, they are affected by the plague. I brought him in this mission, and but they were both pissed. You're like Shepard. You know how Grunt sounds Shepard. Shepard. Nigga said Shepard. Do you really um uh, you really wanna bring us through this or we gonna get killed or something like that? I'm uh um, I saved before I did this, so uh, I can probably come back and uh, show you all that variation of the cutscene. Shepard bird. Don't, Don't shoot, they're cleared to come in. So how the gangs make it past them two little niggas out killing them. They probably just let the niggas in. See, Mass Effect has really lit. Like this is this is lit. Like having a city on a little asteroid. That's fucking like that's sick as shit. Bro. Good luck in there. Y'all don't understand. Like, this, this universe is so fucking inspiring, bro. Take control of this most deal. basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. 
I'm glad they replaced the on the mini games from the last game. Something like this more interactive. But you gotta be careful that some of these if you fail you can miss out on the whole entire either side quest or additional information that would have been useful in the conversation. Yeah, this is gonna be a long episode. I really want to keep it shorter, but like, it's the beginning. I don't really know how to Human. cut the beginning. Human should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> Your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I don't know if I should let this nigga live or die. I need to find more of the Mars Factory. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. <laughs> I probably should say that nigga. But I wouldn't. I'm not paying attention. I ain't gonna lie to you. I doubt he could have helped us anyway. Let's move. I've got a problem. Oh. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Yeah, that shit's great. Try to claw his way out. Bastards see us in this room. Except we're infected. <laughs> Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now but sit tight and wait for them to wise up. Good thing we brought a deck of cards. You guys should have brought a deck of cards. Walked up in there with an alien or somebody, they would have probably got sick. I said, no, no. Is somebody else still up? I guess the sound is glitch. Those niggas just coughing that fucking loud. That's, that's, that's some scary ass shit. It's probably, it's probably an ambient. Shitty. Shitty.
shooting this. I miss having an assault rifle. Burning an impact gun! This is just a big deal. Holy shit. Oh, uh, He's the one who gave me the ability to choose like a massive one. Uh, Man, but it's like they took that out as an ability. It's good. That really never made sense to me. I mean, it, it does. Yeah, it did make sense. I can't never. Yeah, um, if you do ever play this game, like always, always look around because the credits and the um, the credits and the elements you find, it's important to stay in ways you don't even you can even. This shit is so important. You can be the difference between life and death in this game, that's all I gotta say. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I should have. I should have. Because Morton is, is tied to the main story. I should have fucking waited to. Um, to after I recruited everybody else to get him. Probably would have gave me more time before the, um, before the final mission. I should have. Yeah, I should have. I should have. I should have. I should have got everybody else. Uh, uh, everybody don't know that's Mm. It don't matter. Let's see how we can do this shit. I just gotta uh, avoid mainline quests for a moment. Oh, for the longest God, time. You're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Is what I hear right? That this plague doesn't affect humans? No. It seems like some kind of bioweapon or something, since it affects so many different species. The Blue Suns figure humans caused it. They're shooting us on sight. God knows how many have already died. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns' territory. Yeah, we did it with You said the Vorcha time. moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not they're sure where they came diseases. from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now, trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure, a doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down, just like that, pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. Yeah, that'd be spot on. She knows so much. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. Cowering in this apartment might keep you alive for a while, but if the mercs don't get you, starvation will. Easy for you to say. You're a soldier armed to the teeth. We're just ordinary people. Yeah, you're making it out like we're cowards or something. 
A coward accepts death instead of fighting to stay alive. If you want to survive, you're gonna have to earn it. I'm taking out every Borchem Blue Suns group I find along the way to Morden's clinic. But I can't hold your hand while I'm waging war in the streets. Yeah. Okay. I guess if you can clear a path, we can follow. Like you said, it's our only chance. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. See, they forgetting. A lot of niggas might show up in Chicago, nigga on Earth. This nigga from the trenches. Ain't had no mama, no daddy, nigga. It's the real shepherd you get, man. This is the real shepherd you get. This nigga sold, not the sold survivor, he just used the ruthless, bro. Yeah. Ruthless Earth when you get It's a lot. What's this? What am I about to say? Yeah, that boy Morton is like... Yeah, what is Morton doing here? Cause you know they... That motherfucking nigga... He, he was involved with the, the Jennifer. Incoming! Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah, those who can't remember what the Jennifer is, the Jennifer is a plug that affects the closing moves that you might see in a little bit. The big motherfucker. got him right there. The problem. And um, basically what it is is it, it stopped. I gotta say, explosions so have like litters, like six, six to like. I'm just gonna say like six kids at a time. They got they got four balls, so they bust is it's a natural. <laughs> so they can have like up to like hundreds of kids and shit, and they live for like thousands of years. So. Um, there. They can be they can be smart. There were scientists on um, ancient fucking types. The Krogans are the we were, we were kings and shit of this universe. Like a massive universe. We was king, kings. Cause like you see some jumping. It's like I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It was like a paradise before they nuked it all the hell. But they can't, they, they got the power to be smart. They strong. Like, they really are the most OP fucking race in this universe. You really wanna be. You don't have to contend with it. If they stop fighting each other, they're, they're dividing in clans. If they unite, oh my god, bro. The Krogan are the. <laughs> the Krogan are the black people of this universe, bro. That's all I gotta say. You, you'll see when you, when you, when you play with the story more. It'd be better explained. I'm, I'm terrible at explaining it. Bro, they're going to throw them at this. This is a bad one. This is a bad one. Then they have the ability to regen. I don't know if that's still a cannon, but if that's the one, they have the ability. If you, if you didn't kill a, a, um, a program with fire damage, they will, they will regen, get back up, and just fuck your ass up. I'm glad they took it out of the game, but that was kind of tough in the game. That was really annoying. We got a, the, the Jennifer's got an infertility. And if a person does have a child, the child will come out still in there. Like, it's like, what, only one in a thousand? Like one in two thousand children are born? Like it seems we've crossed into Vorcha territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. See, um, if you want to pay attention, Zaid was the founder, one of the founders of the Blue Suns, and they kicked him out of some shit like that. So that's why he hates the Blue Suns. Yeah, but yeah, I, f I fuck with Zaid character design hard as shit, bro. Right? I don't understand. Like, he. I had to take that nigga shoulder pad and put it on my character. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Very good. Good call. Morgan's around here somewhere. somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morgan. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Morton saved my life. I owe him. Professor, we're running low on Sapoxy. Use Milano. Yeah, really Plenty on hand, almost as good. Causes cramping of material. It's always, it's always important in these games looking around and check and shit. Why not have much more? Too unstable. 
inconsistent results. Dem is a better option. No, no, no. Dem is a toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. So Solarians have a, a normal lifespan of 40 years. So their metabolism, their metabolism is very high. Or fast, whatever you call that shit. Professor Morton Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No. No. Too many guns. Love of God, take a breath. I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? That the collectors are kidnapping things. entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Just once, I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, sure, let's go, right now, no strings attached. Life is a negotiation. We all want, we all give, to get what we want. That sounded troubling. Forja have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Forja. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forja territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. A doctor doesn't have much chance against a Forja horde. You shouldn't have sent him. Hmm. Stubborn. Told him not to go. Odds of survival low. But he's smart. Careful. Bright future. I hope. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here when you return. Charging! Charging! 
I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go when you walk away. Oh, God! You must think Batarians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? I'll let him go. That might be we had a deal. Huh? Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Let's see. You're gonna come in handy in the Mass Effect 3, baby. Thank I'm you. you. Yeah, I probably I should save the other dude. Gonna kill me. Morden send you to find me? It's too dangerous out here. Go help the professor tend to his patients. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Yeah, I, I, I should have saved that Batarian nigga, bro. That probably would have came in handy in the next game, but I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Let's just see. I should have told, and I should have killed, told him in the blade. I should have told him in the blade to keep that goddamn um, criminal syndicate running, bro. There probably would have been some extra little points in the Mass Effect 3.
Enemies in front. <laughs> now let's finish you off. Environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the cure, then reactivate the fans. Ah, you don't come here! We shut down machines! Break fans! Everyone choke and die! Then collectors make us strong! I've had enough of this. Collectors want plague! You work for doctor! Turn on machines! Put cure in air! We kill you first! Ah! Enemies! to reactivate the fans.
Engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Vorcho retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I was tempted for a minute, but in the end, I figured they didn't deserve to die. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. 
Think about what I said. Good kid, a bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorjar are gone. I honored my part of the bargain, Professor. Now you need to do the same. Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm going to look around for a moment. I believe Morden said all those things. I thought... I thought I knew it. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Solarians specialize in secret agendas. I'd expect you to understand Cerberus looking out for human interests. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. No distress calls. No signs of resistance. New technology. Marvelously advanced. But what? This isn't a game. We've lost thousands of people. God only knows what the Collectors are doing to them. Easy, Commander. Dr. Solis is a problem solver. This is how he thinks things through. We collected evidence from one of the missing colonies, Professor. We need you to analyze it and see if you can figure this out. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. We're going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? You're not here to study our AI. You need to figure out how the Collectors abducted those colonists so we can counteract their weapons. Understood. Analyze samples, neutralize Collector attack. Uh, which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. 